Good morning, and welcome to St. John the Baptist Cathedral Basilica Parish. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. Please silence your phones. Our presider this morning is Father Critch, and our gathering hymn is number 447 in the Catholic Book of Worship, A Living Faith, number 447. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. Our saint for today is Saint Jean Jean Francis de Chantel, born in Dijon, France in 1872. She was married with six children. Her husband died very young, and she had a very great depression, very grave depression after that happened. And she sought the spiritual advice of a spiritual director named St. Uh, Francis de Sales. And uh, she uh, spiritually uh, became very rich spiritually in her prayer life. And she founded the Order of the Visitation uh, Sisters for women who didn't want the austere life of the convent, but who wanted to uh, serve the sick and the poor in the world. So she's uh, the founders of the Sisters of the Visitation. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries today, we ask the Lord to come into our hearts, to forgive us for the times we have failed to be compassionate and merciful to others. We ask the Lord's forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of us. God of mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who made St. Jane Francis de Chantel radiant with outstanding merits in different walks of life, grant us through her intercession 
that walking faithfully in our vocation, we may constantly be examples of shining light to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people and said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, our God alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. Keep these words that I am commanding you today in your heart. Recite them to your children and talk about them when you are at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you rise. Bind them as a sign on your hand, fix them as an emblem on your forehead, and write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. When the Lord your God has brought you into the land that he swore to your ancestors, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob to give you, a land with fine, large cities that you did not build, houses filled with all sorts of goods that you did not fill, hewn cisterns that you did not hew, vineyards and olive gardens that you did not plant. And when you have eaten your fill, take care that you do not forget the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. The Lord your God you shall fear, him you shall serve, and by his name alone you shall swear. The word of the Lord. The refrain to Psalm 18 is, I love you, O Lord, my strength.
brought us life through the gospel. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. After the transfiguration, James, Jesus with Peter, James, and John came down from the mountain. When they came to the crowd, a man came to Jesus, knelt before him, and said, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is an epileptic and he suffers terribly. He often falls into the fire and often into the water. And I brought him to your disciples, but they could not cure him. And Jesus answered, You faithless and perverse generation, how much longer must I be with you? How much longer must I put up with you? Bring him here to me. And Jesus rebuked the demon, and he came out of him, and the boy was cured instantly. Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, Why could we not cast it out? And Jesus said to them, Because of your little faith. For truly I tell you, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you would say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move. And nothing will be impossible for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord It was while Jesus was being transfigured on the mountain that his disciples were failing in their ministry to heal a sick boy, even though Jesus had conferred healing powers on them to deal with afflictions of this kind. So when Jesus came down the mountain, he expressed his frustration with them as being saying, how long, or how long must I put up with this faithless generation? Jesus then did what the disciples were unable to do. He healed the boy in response to the desperate pleas of his father. And why did the disciples fail to heal the boy? Well, according to Jesus, it was because of their lack of faith. They doubted themselves and didn't really trust that the Lord would work through them in the face of this demanding pastoral situation. They lacked the faith and tried to go it alone and failed. We can all be a little like those disciples. When faced with a demanding situation, we often fail to recognize that the Lord is with us and working through us in that situation. We try to face it on our own, and we discover that our own resources are not sufficient. Sometimes the more difficult the situation, the more inclined we are to fall back on our own resources and efforts alone, instead of trusting in the Lord and depending on the Lord. Yet, it is above all in the more difficult situations in life that we need to rely on Jesus all the more. At such times, we need to be people of great faith rather than people of little faith, like the disciples were in this situation. Great demands made are made upon us. Great demands made upon us call for great faith and entrusting of ourselves to Jesus, whose power can do great work in and through each of us. Our prayers of intercession today. For Holy Father, Pope Francis and Peter, our Bishop, and for all those who shepherd our church in these challenging times, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all of us that in our dark situations in our lives that we will trust more in Jesus. We pray to the Lord. We also pray today for our vocations to the priesthood and religious life and for Chris our seminarian, for all of those who are planning on entering the priesthood or considering that or discerning that in their life, we pray for them. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those in our health care who are, especially our nurses and doctors who uh, work at the healing the sick, we pray to the Lord. For all the sick recommended to our prayers for the healing power of the Holy Spirit upon them, we pray to the Lord. For those who have died, we pray especially today for Marie Whalen, Alfreda Nash, and Neil Flynn. For all those who have died in the peace of Christ, we pray to the Lord. For the intentions in your own hearts today. We pray to the Lord. God, our Heavenly Father, 
we ask that you enter us and heal our souls. We ask you to be with us in the darkest moments of our life, to be our light. We ask all of our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, our risen Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, when we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, who will become our spiritual drink. Wash away our iniquity of our sin. And pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Let us pray. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest a resurrection. So with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and the 
celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your people. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. John the Baptist, St. John, Jane, Francis de Chantal, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs with them to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. to our Heavenly Father in the words that Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. We we'll share that peace of Christ now with one another. away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now worthy that you should, should enter into my roof, but only say, say the word, word and my soul so shall be healed. For the reception of Holy Communion, we ask that people from the side sections come to receive Holy Communion first. We encourage you to sanitize your hands before receiving Holy Communion. If you are unable to receive Holy Communion, you are welcome to come forward for a blessing.
Our communion hymn is number 6.4 in Celebrate in Song. Let us be bread, number 6.4. Let us be bread, blessed by the Lord, broken and shed, life for the world. Let us be wine, love freely poured. Let us be Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy, that by the pouring forth of your Spirit, 
the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless all of us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our own lives. Thanks be to God. Okay. Our missioning hymn is number 582 in the Catholic Book of Worship. Praise the one who breaks the darkness, number 582. <laughs>